This is a review about the Nook Touch, the new Android device from Barnes & Noble. I ordered it from overseas, the US to be precise, and received it a couple of weeks ago. I have a hunch I was one of the first in Europe to own one. I've rooted it, but I haven't installed any new apps on it yet, and actually I would like to advise against that for the time being. Rooting it was fairly simple. Uh, it only required a, a SD card, but to install apps you need to install the scripts, uh, use the Android software development kit and whatnot. There is no simple method of transferring apps to it yet, at least to the best of my knowledge. Those videos that can be seen online on YouTube, on YouTube and or such uh, of the Nuke Touch on which uh, countless apps have been installed have been made by fairly no knowledgeable people, insiders if you may, from forums such as XDA developers and nukedevs.com. But uh, for the average Joe, I recommend waiting just a little bit longer before trying to install apps, unless you are fairly wealthy and don't at all mind the risk of breaking your device. In addition to this recommendation, I would briefly like to mention some further information about the unit. E-ink, of course, as everyone knows, spares your eyes from the strain that can occur when sitting in front of a monitor all day. This e-ink type is of a reasonable standard, but sometimes, especially while reading PDFs, the quality and contrast is a bit low. The unit does not have speakers, and what more, it doesn't have a landscape mode. I bet that developers were in a bit of a rush to get it out to the market, seeing how they oversaw such an important detail. In the US, this device is fairly cheap at 139 US dollars, but of course, if you live elsewhere, you will have to pay extra for shipping and income tax. Barnes & Noble does not ship internationally, so you would need to purchase it off eBay or some other alternative vendor. The unit does view EPUB books, which is great because it will most likely be the new e-publishing standard and you can get quite a lot of e-books for free. Expect the publishing industry to undergo as dramatical changes as the music industry did with the advent of the new MP3, of the MP3. So what I'm saying is the EPUB is to the publishing industry what the MP3 format was to the music industry. All in all, I say buy this advice or wait for a model with native Android user interface. With, with a native Android user interface, i.e. one which does not require routing for you to install apps. And finally, I have a hunch Barnes & Noble may include a web browser in one of their next firmware updates. So if a browser is all you need, you may wish to wait just a little bit longer before modifying the operative system on your own. Thanks.